Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be my top 10 stocks as we head into Tuesday, April 26th. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you are someone that uses charts within your trading, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about charts and how they can be used as a tool to help make good decisions, this will be a video for you. Before I get to the watch list, I first wanna personally invite you to get signed up for this free live online class that I'm offering later on in the week. So if you're liking what you see here and you wanna learn more about this tool, how it can, how it should be used to help make good decisions as a trader and build consistency, then certainly get signed up for the free class. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link down in the description box. If you're watching at my site, there's an area right there on the webpage that you can click to get signed up. So again, if you're liking what you see, then certainly get signed up for the free class. First one here, TWTR Twitter. And as I'm sure you're aware, if you're not, I don't know what you're doing, but big announcement here with Elon Musk saying that uh, he will be buying them and they accepted his offer. Uh, but it brings up the question, well, why isn't at the $54 yet if that's the, the purchase price? And that's because the deal is quote unquote expected to close, meaning there's still uncertainty around this, which means there's still gonna be volatility, there's still gonna be opportunity um, within you know the, the Twitter stock because it's a valid question. Well, shouldn't the price just be right at $54.20 since that's a deal. And no, it shouldn't because once again, when you look at the verbiage of things, everything is expected to happen, which of course means that it might not still happen. So that is why, again, this thing is still kind of moving up all over the place. So we'll see what happens with it. And I should also note real quick that I am doing this when the market's still open. So this price over here, you're not seeing things. That price is still changing. And then also, I will be using the 30 minute time frame. So for beginners out there, that just means that each one of these candlesticks, as they're called, represents 30 minutes worth of time. Uh, but I like to do these videos when the market's still open for a small amount of time because sometimes we can capture some really interesting late day price movement. Um, and, you know, but still the market's close enough to being done where everything I talk about will still be relevant. So, like I said, Twitter here is the first one. And really the main dynamic here that I'm very curious about moving forward. This area right up here at the $52, and let's just call it 30 cent mark, which has now been the point where the price has been rejected, not once, but then two times. And this second time here was after the stock was halted and started to resume again. So for whatever reason, there's definitely sellers sitting up there right around $52.30. So you know a bunch of people have noticed that level, and lots of people are watching the same level, wondering the same thing. Call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want. It can produce some very dynamic movements. So keep an, a, a close eye on that from the breakout standpoint. As far as areas of support are concerned, and pullback area. So for those of you that like to play pullbacks right down there, around $50.25 is an interesting level. Uh, but overall, it'll be a very, very interesting stock to see how it trades moving forward with the news because maybe things really do get pretty solidified. And at that point, volatility is going to drop down and it's not going to move around. But if there is a bunch of drama around it, oh, Elon's changing his mind, oh, maybe the financing is going to fall through, you know, blah, 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 then who knows how volatile this thing could get. So it's certainly worth at least uh, keeping someplace on the watch list. Next one, NKTX, an absolute monster today. And what makes this interesting, at least in my mind going forward, and a little disappointing, is that the price has now broken up through that resistance straddle line right there. And I just say it's disappointing, not in a bearish sense, but in the, just in the sense of, you know, if you do like to play breakouts, then yeah, that breakout has essentially already happened now, which now brings up, you know, the, the valid question of, okay, and think about this question. Think about what has had to happen for me to even ask this question in the first place. But this now brings up the question of, is this the start of something bigger? Is this breakout just to start before this thing gets even higher? But now in order for me to ask that question, what? Well, the price needed a first breakout in the first place. So like you said, a lot of stocks, a lot of situations, you never even get to ask that question because, well, nothing even happens. But in this situation, a breakout has happened of that trend line. So now it becomes more than valid to ask, hey, could this be the start of something way bigger? Now, that, that's a two-sided coin, so maybe this thing just falls right back into oblivion, but again, it's a two-sided coin. And the other, the flip side of that coin is, but what it happens if it is the start of something much bigger and this thing goes to $20 and above? So, and that's the whole idea of a watch list, right? To find unique situations and then to watch them and potentially put a trade plan together based around what you see. So if you like to play this sort of price range and you like to play these breakouts where you then wanna see if there's more, more momentum to come, I definitely have this one on your watch list. Next one, BRQS, and this one becomes that much more interesting, especially for those of you that like to play penny stocks, because there's this general area right up here that once again stands out that much more as a key area of resistance right here at 39 cents. So you can see now three separate occasions, once, twice, and then 
today, although today didn't quite hit it exactly, but you know, with right there, you can see the price actually sl went slightly above it. But point being, generally speaking, 29 cents is a level that that many more people are gonna continue to follow. And when you have a lot of people watching the same level, wondering the same thing, self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want, it can certainly produce very dynamic movements. So while there is no such thing as a guarantee in the market, it's completely plausible and valid to think that if the price comes up to that level and then breaks up through it, that that break right there in and of itself could produce quite a bit of upwards buying pressure. So definitely want to keep a close eye on that 39 cent mark. And then just from a general standpoint, you have a, a very nice uptrend and that's just illustrated here via the purple line, which is the 50 period moving average, nice upward slope to it. And then from a, you know, just a general pattern perspective, so you combine that with the, the, the trend, you have resistance there, you have a support there. So you have a nice ascending triangle. I mean, if you want to call it a bull pennant, you could do that too. But the point here being, there's a lot of bullish things going on here. So it's worth at least watching, especially if you like to play penny stocks. Next one here, AMC, and this will mean a bit more to those of you that have watched past videos, but if you have, you've heard me talk about that purple line over and over again as being a key level of resistance, which you can see rejected the price back there on Monday morning. And once again, you can see here at last 30 minutes, the price is knocking right on the door of that 50 period moving average, which brings up the very valid question now of, okay, do we have a breakout potentially on our hands? Once more, a two-sided coin, maybe we don't. Maybe this thing just gets rejected and back down it goes. But again, two-sided coin, maybe, maybe it is gonna be a breakout and this thing really gets a lot of momentum over the next couple of days. So as far as the spirit of a watch list, as I've said, this is certainly a very unique situation and you can see that purple line remains stubborn. In fact, right there you can see, has rejected the price already. But like I said, the last 30 minutes here, the price is well within striking distance. So worth at least keep an eye on from a potential breakout standpoint. And then for people that like to short and the bears, you know that a bunch of people are gonna be watching that level right there at 1660. I mean, look at all the times. One, two, three, four, five times today, the price got down there and the bulls did hold strong, but it remains valid to think that if the price goes down there and then the bulls do not hold strong, that that could create some additional selling pressure to the downside. But overall, definitely a couple of key, well-defined levels that I think a lot of people will be paying attention to on Tuesday. Next one, RDBX, and just a beautiful, beautiful uptrend. I mean, it really doesn't get any better than this when it comes to you know wanting to build those higher lows, put in higher highs. So overall trending, and if you like to play this, you know, uh, sub, you know, $5 range, then here you go with another very nice pattern here that's formed. So as far as the top, this pattern is, is concerned right up there at, what is that? $4 and 30 cents. And then as far as supports are concerned, right down there. So let me change that to green to represent more. So the bullish area of the pattern, and then maybe just to make this a little bit easier to see from strictly a pattern perspective, we have the resistance there. We have the support there. We have the nice momentum move right there. And we'll put the golf hole down here to make it more visual. And this would be known as a bull pennant pattern. So if you like to play bull pennants, if you like to play stocks down in this price range, then this one certainly belongs on the watch list. And next one here, SKYH. I'm gonna be very straightforward about this one. And I put this strategically on the watch list because I don't wanna just sit here and be a broken record. So I'm gonna hop right into something that should sound very familiar as far as a pattern is concerned. So we have a resistance there. We have our support right there. We'll again change that to green to represent more so the bullish area of the pattern and then to keep it all one color. Again, a resistance, support, momentum move, golf hole down here. We have ourselves another bull pennant pattern. So maybe you don't like stocks down below $10. Well, here is one that, well, I guess <laughs> it did actually drop down below $10, but it's close to $10. Pointer being, if you do like to play these bull pennant patterns in the, well, let's call it right around $10 range. Well, here you go. Next, SBFM. And going back to the whole idea of self-fulfilling prophecy. I mean, talk about just a very couple well-defined areas that, again, in my mind, a whole lot of people are watching. So from the resistance standpoint, in terms of breakouts, in my mind, a lot of people are watching that $4.55 mark. You can just see, a multitude of times price got around that area and couldn't quite do much. And it was a former area of support. So that's just a classic example of this support now behaving as resistance. But on the flip side of things, another, you know, self-filling prophecy point. I mean, check out all the times the price, what was that? AMC, I think that we talked about that had a bunch of times, but $4. I mean, once, twice, three times. And then the final 30 minutes here are starting to come down here a little bit more to four. But you know a bunch of people are watching $4 as a potential level of support. If that level does not hold, next key level of support would then be that purple line right there, 50 period moving average, currently valued at $3.75. But overall, like I said, well-defined levels, self-filling prophecy, you call it whatever you want, always worth at least keeping an eye on.
Next, VERU. Very, very impressive comeback because on Friday, things were looking pretty dismal. Price pulled back quite a bit. Started to show a little bit of strength, but got that much more strength here moving into Tuesday. And this has been a popular one in the past. So you know that days like this, they're going to be kind of, oh, hey, I remember that one. And they're gonna, it's going to bring back to the forefront of people's minds that, you know, VERU seems to be coming back into play. Still more work to be done, but the level that, in my mind, I think a lot of people are going to be paying attention to is that $15 mark. Because as you can see back here, that was quite a bit of a problem area. So again, am I going to say that's a, a, a total self-filling prophecy point? I don't know if I'd go that far, but I do think there's going to be quite a few people watching it. So again, no guarantees. I'm not saying that if the price gets up there and breaks up through it, it'll for sure make that move. But in my mind, it's at least a plausible thought process to have. So keep an eye on $15 as that initial area of resistance. And then as far as supports are concerned, the level you'll want to watch any sort of pullback right down there around $12.85. But overall, VERU, it's got a track record of moving big. It seems to be coming back to life. So let's see if it can continue to come back to life over the next couple of days. Next one, AMD, very, very popular stock. And you have very popular stocks that seemingly are maybe forming some sort of bottom, certainly at least is wa worth watching. Now, let me be very clear. Just because I'm now able to draw this line here and talk about how the price has started to go sideways, generally speaking, at this area, does not mean that for sure guaranteed, this is the bottom, this is gonna go back upwards. If only it were that easy. But is it plausible? Is it valid for me to say, hey, you know what? Because of this price action moving sideways, maybe this is some sort of bottom. Yeah, that is a plausible thought process to have. That's also why risk management matters because maybe it's not. Maybe this thing just continues to crash downwards, but it's not like it's some sort of random bizarre thought now to say, well, because it's starting to go sideways over the past couple of days, maybe this is some kind of bottom. And when you have a very popular stock, you know that a bunch of people are watching it just for any sort of even not not even good news just oh that wasn't as bad of news as what i thought it would be you know to, to make you know moves on this thing and we have ourselves a very nice self-fulfilling prophecy point right there at 91 dollars and 50 cents so i mean you can see several times now the price has been up around that area and hasn't quite pushed through so if you like some play uh, you know kind of these bottom type potential formations uh, then this is one that certainly needs to be on the watch list next one tsla tesla C pretty crazy of course elon's company then you have all that with twitter and once again today, I mean, unbelievable. This area down here at right around $973, give or take. And I know that you longer time viewers, you've heard me talk about it time and time again, <laughs> but check it out once again, a bounce off that level. I mean, check out all these bounces. Everybody and their brother's uncle is watching this level. It sticks out like a sore thumb. By no means am I trying to proclaim that this is a great skill that I have to notice this area or some sort of special discovery. Not at all. So many people, longs and shorts around the world, continue to watch this area. And as of now, it is a bounce point. I mean, there are a lot of buyers down around that area. And whenever it's gotten down there, clearly it is bounced. But you got to think that at some point, if it does break, is that a leading indicator of a whole lot more bearishness to come? Once again, to repeat myself, broken record, there are no guarantees, but that is certainly a very plausible thought process to have. So more of the story there. I will continue to be watching that 973, 974 area very, very closely over the next coming days. If there is any sort of bounce, then keep an eye on that pink line up there, the 200 paired moving average, which is essentially what rejected the price, uh, not only this morning, but also you can see rejected it back there on uh, Friday right there. But overall, like I said, the most intriguing level that I think stands out to most people is all about that green line down there. So let's see what happens with it. So that wraps up the top 10. Again, if you like what you saw here and you want to get signed up for the free live online class that I'm offering here in a couple of days, then certainly get signed up. Like I said, it'll be later this week, Thursday, April 28th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So certainly get signed up for it. If you enjoy these top 10 videos, then please help me out with some basic feedback. Hit that like button, leave a simple comment. Even if it's just saying hi, tell me what you traded today. Tell me what you're watching tomorrow. But those two things communicate to me that you enjoy this content. And as long as I know people are enjoying, then I will continue to put in the time and effort that's required uh, to create this kind of content for you. So again, if you like what you saw here, you wanna learn more about this tool and why it's so powerful, then certainly get signed up for that free class. And hopefully I'll see you later on in the week.